that'll be the day. Let's meet the visiting team, the New Orleans Pelicans. At small forward, Herbert Jones. At center, Jonas Valanciunas. At point guard, C.J. McCollum. At the other forward position, Zion Williamson. At the other guard position, Brandon Ingram. The head coach of the visiting team is Willie Green. Let's bring out the starters for your Philadelphia 76ers. At the small forward position, six foot five, number 22, the team. At forward, six foot eight, number 12, the Alongside Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Thanks, Brian. CJ McCollum is looking to evolve his game. He said, quote, I can get out of bed and get 20. Now I need to score efficiently, make my teammates better, and impact the game in every facet. You get older, the maturity level shifts, and you understand what needs to be done. Guys? Well, looking to show how he can impact winning, Allie. Thanks for that. And we've got a chance to check out multiple seasons of assist numbers. And what has been the trend for James Harden? And that decline in assist numbers over the last few years is what has made him more of a one-note player on offense. If he could integrate more passing back into his game, he'd be giving opposing defenses a much harder time. A look at the Pelicans' starting group. Zion and Valanciunas playing up front. C.J. McCollum is out there with Brandon Ingram. And it's Jones in at the three, the small forward. And for the 76ers, Harris and Embiid are playing up front. Maxi out there with James Harden. And it's Thibault in at small forward. Just about at the halfway point of the season. Plenty of games left to watch and so many different ways to watch. B.A., how about this? I can watch any game in the league right now on my phone. That's just unreal. I just love what the NBA has done, making the game accessible anywhere. Now here's Jones. Pass to Ingram. Now Williamson. Shoots over Maxi, And there's Williamson on the assist from Valanchunas. Look at the big man Valanchunas showing off the playmaking skills. against Ingram. Let's it go from 11. And he drops that one in. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. The reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations. But it's worth it. Now here's Ingram. Fires the three. 
Joel Embiid with the board. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. And out of bounds, New Orleans will have it. New Orleans ball. Here's New Orleans now. Last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. <laughs> it's always hard to get a win on the road, especially when you show zero energy on the defensive end. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. Now here's Maxie. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. So much of rebound is about positioning, effort, no lack of it right there. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Great ball movement by B.I. Spots a wide open teammate and feeds him. The 76ers have gone one for three so far. Three-pointer, hard move. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Valanchunas. McCullum outside. Valanchunas with a screen on Harris. Shot clock at six. Ooh, rejected by Harris. Great position on that play from Tobias. Challenging the shot and getting a piece of it. Here's Maxi. Bearing his second of three attempts. And you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. And that one's good. Ingram. You see how Ingram's polished his game. Looking smooth from the mid-range. Outside Tybal. Out left to the wing. Here's Embiid. And again, it's Philadelphia. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job of playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. And so it's New Orleans with it. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. Alan Chunas with a screen on Maxi. McCollum on the wing. From the arc. And no good. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Outside Thibel. Pass to Harden. Back to Thibel. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Jones. And he loves it up top. And Williamson throws it down. This is why Williamson's teammates love him. He makes them look good on these alley hoops. Harden, the pass to Harris. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by Ingram. New Orleans in the lead. Pass to McCullum. And Tyrese Maxey gets the whistle that time. That's his first That's foul his of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Valanciunas passes to Jones. Harden against McCullum. Valanciunas with a screen on Maxey. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's on Joel Embiid. Seeing that Valanciunas is seven feet tall, he is a real problem for the defenses. Jonas Valanciunas, two shots. one at the line is good. The Pelicans were pretty impressive last season, managing to successfully battle their way into the playoffs through a tough play-in tournament. He's off on the second. You know, in that play-in, the Pelicans face some serious competition. Today. B.A., 
day, they defeated the Spurs and the Clippers, which was no easy task. But the Pelicans were ready for the challenge and ended up securing a playoff berth. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Jones, a pass to Ingram. McCullum outside. Outside Ingram. Shot clock at five. Steps back and shoots. That one a little long. The Sixers trailing. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. With that 7-3 wingspan, Brandon Ingram is having no trouble getting to that shot. Now here's Ingram. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Maxi against McCullum. The three hits a three-pointer. You have to get out there on C.J. McCollum. He is very good at torching defenses from deep. Harden against McCollum. Outside Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Uses the glass on the layup. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. Here's Williamson. with the ball. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know Brandon Ingram has turned himself into a dominant three or four in this league. His versatility has him playing all around the floor. Smitty asked for Ingram playing a bigger role in the last few years. And that rose huge on the offensive side. B.A. averaging over 20 points per game the last three seasons. Becoming a real headache for the defense. That free throw good from Ingram. It's so fun to see Brandon Ingram evolve. He's a true student of the game, and each year, he keeps improving. And he makes both free throws. And when Pelicans fans watch what Ingram has become, it takes the sting out of the Anthony Davis trade. Yeah, I mean, Ingram has grown into a full-fledged star in New Orleans. I mean, he's a centerpiece for the franchise going forward. Now, looking back, it seems like it was a win-win trade for both teams. Meeting right at the rim, he typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Pass to Alvarado. And here's Hayes. Here's Williamson. Melton covers from 12 feet. And there's Williamson on the assist by Nance. Williamson's got eight. He's been perfect this quarter. They keep feeding him, and he keeps delivering. And Philadelphia calls time here. Their last encounter was in New Orleans, where they were able to handle the Pelicans. And I'll tell you, that was not an easy environment to play in. It was a hostile crowd on the road, but it didn't bother them at all. What was beautiful, it was a tremendous game plan coming in. You saw the execution, and you saw the results. And that is the Philadelphia 76ers. BAT, everybody. Get loud for that one once again.
in for Philadelphia. Murphy, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Graham comes in for Ingram. the Sixers now trailing by eight Graham against Melton pass to Harden now Harold comes up empty down low that's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight that's a miss they can live with Hayes with a screen on Melton Kick out to Graham. From deep. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. Milton against Graham. Milton passes to Tucker. Harden with it. Outside Milton. Back to Harden. From deep, Milton. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. The focus of the defense. I mean, James Harden was able to use that attention and turn it into a hoop for someone else. Vance finds Graham. Hayes with a screen on Melton. Graham, the pass to Hayes. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Outside Harden, pass to Melton. To the middle. Outside for Harden. Five on the clock. Launches it. Tucker, pass to Harold. It's tipped. Here's Murphy. Boy, he just disappeared against Memphis. They needed him. Here's the three. Rebound by the 76ers. Outside Harden. Pass to Melton. The layup off target. New Orleans has gone just one of six from downtown. Here's Murphy. The three is up. Knocks down the triple. And now it's a 10-point New Orleans lead. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now here's Harden. A 20-point game for him and the win against Oklahoma City. Left side, Milton. Milton outside. Tucker with a screen on Grant. Here's Melton. The Sixers with another miss. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with this offense. Hayes with a screen on Melton. Graham for three. And Milton pulls it down. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. There's a screen. Melton with the ball. Hayes picks him up. Melton misses. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Graham for three. Rebounded by James Harden. Well, the 76 was shooting 28% in his first quarter. Pass to Milton. A minute 22 left in the opening quarter. Another miss. Boy, they're in a funk right now. And for the Pelicans, they're shooting an impressive 47%. Well, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Mm -hmm. oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. Here's Milton. After the Pelicans picking up a basket a moment ago. The floater. Pelicans on the break. Here's Graham. Off 
offensive rebound. Here's Nance. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Shooting for New Orleans. Larry Nance Jr. One shot. Seconds left in the opening quarter. Pass to Harden. From the high post. This is his fourth shot of the night. Still hasn't hit one yet. I don't know how many misses that is in a row, but I know it's ugly. Dance outside. Down low. Here's Murphy. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. I love it. When Harden shoots, he commits. A little contact isn't going to upset his mechanics. Graham for three. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. The Pelicans on top. Up by 15. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. so far on the offensive approach for the Pelicans. Right now is their passing game, and it's been on point, doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. Man, they're just having their way, bullying the other team in the painted area, imposing their will down there whenever they want. And New Orleans shooting efficiently, 50% so far. So for the Pelicans right now, Herb Jones out there with Jackson Hayes. Then there's C.J. McCollum. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's Williamson in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Melton. A 17-point game for him in the win against Oklahoma City. And you know, another way he impacted the game was forcing turnovers. Really disrupted the offensive flow. Harris misses. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Pass to Williamson. Over Harris. The shot off that time. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Maxi against Ingram. Now here's Embiid. Over Hayes. Misses off the left iron. Ingram against Maxi. Ingram, the pass to McCullum. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Inside. Oh, stolen by Harris. Pass to Maxi. Back to Harris. Can't get it to drop. Some solid defense from Hayes. Melton against Jones. McCullum on the wing. to Ingram over Harris and again New Orleans no good easy chance for mid-range wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again Maxi against McCullum and it's flushed down on a nice chance Defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Valanchunas, he's checked in for Hayes. Shoot in one. One shot. Thank you. 
Maxi, no good on the free throw. Smitty, the challenges of being a small market team are very real for the Pelicans. You know, it's tough to attract big name talent or get stars willing to invest in your franchise. BA, but the Pelicans are doing what they can to overcome it. Now here's Harris. 15 in his last outing. Pass to Maxi. Now Harris. McCullum defends. Harris, the shot is good. He just looks so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. McCullum, pass to Williamson. And here's Ingram. Williamson with a screen on Maxi. Back to Williamson. Oh, stolen by Harris. And about three minutes played now in the second quarter. Embiid a screen on Williamson. Maxi passes to Thibel. Now here's Embiid. Valanchunas covering. Valanchunas against Embiid. Over Valanchunas. Embiid can't hit. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got a rebound number five here tonight. And stolen by Williamson. Oh, and the big finish by Williamson. Unbelievable hang time, giving the crowd its money's worth. Go ahead, Zion. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Outside Maxi. Pass to Harris. Three-pointer. The Sixers again can't hit. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. McCullum outside. No good there. Good D by Melton. The 76ers have got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. to Embiid. Let's it go from deep. Drops in the three. Embiid's got his third basket on the night right there. Well, Embiid's accuracy is so impressive, especially for a big. He can really hurt you from the arc. Williamson with it. Guarded now by Maxi. Williamson passes to Ingram. Back to Williamson. Shoots over Maxi. Williamson misses. For Philadelphia, they've got five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Bible passes to Melton. Maxi with it. Let's the three fly. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got his fifth rebound in this one. To the inside. Shot left block. No good off the glass. Philadelphia has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Maxi with it. Six points for him. Harris up top. Ooh, poked away. And here's Jones. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Outside Ingram from deep three-point range. That one no good. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. Embiid. And another miss by Philadelphia. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Ingram against Thibel. Kicks it out to Williamson. Back to Ingram. Clock at six. There's the three. Sinks it from distance. Ingram's got seven. You must chase Ingram off the three-point line. He's too dangerous of a threat to hit a triple. Harris outside. Valachunas against Embiid. It's good. He's got nine. Great execution. He got the ball in the right spot, and he delivered with the turnaround. 
moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, Joel and B. drawing comparisons to some legendary big men, he said, quote, I want to be mentioned as one of the greats. That's my goal. And obviously being a Hall of Famer. But you've got to take step by step, one day at a time. It's going to take a lot of work, and I'm willing to put it in. Guys? Well, he's well on his way, Allie. Thanks. Time out called the Pelicans. The 76ers will have a different look here. Harrell's checked in for Embiid. Tucker comes in for Harris. Milton's checked in for Thibel. And it's Harden in for Melton. And the Pelicans will go for a different look here. Nance, he's checked in for Williamson. Murphy comes in for Jones. Graham's checked in for Brandon Ingram. And Alvarado's subbed in for McCollum. To the paint. Over to the wing. Pass to Alvarado. To the right side. Back to Nance. Down to five on the shot clock. Rebound by the 76ers. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. And as a rule of thumb, the road can really test your team's depth. But they all stepped up and collected and produced a lot of points. It was really that second wave in the rotation that took the offense to another level. And here are the Pelicans now. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. And again, New Orleans, no good. For Philadelphia, they've gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxx's three-point shot from his first season to second year, just unprecedented. He improved by over 12% with a huge increase in attempts as well. Now here is Harold. With the clock winding down. Terrific offensive rebounder. Harold's energy is what helps him collect second chance opportunities. Valentunas with a screen on Maxi. Graham misses. And for a player with the speed and quickness of Maxi, Graham leveling up that three point shot changes everything for him. Oh, so true, BA. It becomes pick your poison with them. And it put him in a conversation last year for most improved players. And the three pointer goes. Now just a four-point New Orleans lead. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Pass to Graham. Alan Tunis with a screen on Maxi. Graham misses. In this first half, he has really fallen in love with the three. So far, not paying dividends. Here's Harold. Three-pointer, Harden. Pelicans cleared away. Nance has got his fourth rebound in this one. He's doing what he can to help them cut into this league. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. Nance with a screen on Milton. Graham pass to Nance. Just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Pass to Milton. Now Harden. An effective score for them. Scoring around 21 and a half points a game. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Alvarado. Nance outside. The 
kick out to Graham. That's the screen. Three-pointer off the mark. Can you believe it? He's missed every shot he's taken. Yet this team still continues to hold the lead. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Alvarado. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Murphy, covered by Milton. Pass to Alvarado. Graham. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. At some point when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. Oh, and he got Ooh. fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Harden, That's former league MVP, three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A., I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. But postseason success right. counts Take for right. a lot when it's all said and done. That's good from Harden. A nightly triple-double threat. Harden's level of creativity and incredible confidence makes him lethal. The Pelicans making a switch here. Hayes is checked in. Both good from the line that time. I'll tell you what, a lot can be said about the contract Harden took to stay in Philly. He took less than what he commanded to help the team sign depth and rotation players. A very big gesture from Harden, showing just how much he wants to win in Philly. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. This year's contenders for the dunk contest. And when you look at the names on that list, you just know that contest has a chance to be special. Well, you look at Williamson, and he's just short of the number one spot in the voting. No question, it seems that he'll be a factor in the dunk contest. Yeah, B.A., you don't want to have to win in the voting to be the winner on the court come All-Star Weekend. I'm sure he's got what it takes to get some tens from the judges. And as All-Star Weekend gets closer, we'll, of course, update you on how things are looking. But this year already promises plenty of standout performances. Yeah, this is going to be a dunk contest you don't want to miss. Now here's Graham. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Hayes with a screen on Maxi. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. This group of fours and fives have been unreal of late. The best shooting percentages for the bigs over the last ten games. Number one, Montrez Harrell. Zion Williams in fourth. The challenge for Biggs is not only to create high percentage looks, but to also finish consistently. This group, they do just that. Every one of them possesses a great touch around the basket. When they receive the ball in good position in the paint, it is just about automatic. And he makes a first. The former second-round draft pick, Devontae Graham, now a key contributor who can really fill it up. Both 
both free throws good for Graham. 102 left in the first half of this one. Pass to Maxi. Outside Milton. Harold the screen. The three. And the 76ers get it back. The putback is no good. And you'd like to go two for one here, Grant. And at the same time, you want to get a good shot here, B.A. Outside Grant. Pass to Nance. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Harden's got five rebounds tonight. And we haven't seen them pound the ball inside and draw as much contact this quarter. If you can, use up the clock and route to the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. Graham, that's Devontae good. Graham. Likes to facilitate the basketball, but Devontae Graham can hit from long range. And so it's New Orleans closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. And their defense has been able to bottle up James Harden, one of the league's elite scorers. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks. I'm here with Doc Rivers and Coach. I know you cannot be happy with this team's play in the first half. What will you tell them they need to improve on? The score and our effort, our offense. They're just playing harder. They're more physical. They're tougher. Honestly, we're very lucky right now. Lots to improve on in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break. Ready for the third quarter. Welcome, everyone. Is there anyone in this league more fun to watch than Zion? He's been on a tear tonight. You like his mentality, getting his feet wet in the paint and pressing the attack around that rim. If the defense can't stop it, stick with it. Nothing wrong with point blank looks. And next up, we have the award winners, our players of the month in the East and the West. Looking at the Eastern Conference, Joel Embiid. The big man, Joel Embiid. Just so patient with his moves and decision making now. His combination of size and feet work are incredible. He has had Akeem Olajuwon gene. Looking for him to win this award many more times to come. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. basketball here two quarters in the books it has been a clinic out there by Zion Williamson when he got good position and they got the ball to him he was automatic I have to credit them for their patience offensively they understood the matchup and they took the necessary time to exploit it you know some have said those old-school power forwards guys like Charles Oakley 
they're becoming outdated. You see that, Grant? Well, first of all, the physicality in the game is no more. The way Oakland would hit you and bruise you, you can't do that in today's game. And guys like Oakley are now playing the five position, and they're shooting three-pointers. So a lot of it just is because the game has changed and evolved since the 90s when Oakley dominated. Great skill level in the game right now. No question. Rival and Harris at the three and the four. James Harden out there with Maxi and a 10 bead in at the five spot. That's Doc Rivers five as we get into the second lead. Harden against McCullum. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his third first It's going to go on Tyrese Maxi. So skilled at drawing contact. I like when CJ McCullum plays with aggression. At the line for two. That free throw misses. Yeah, bottom line for this Pelican squad, they need to get better on the defensive end. They may have to get more 3 and D type of guys on this roster. the second from the line. All right, so about the Pelicans. What has been holding them back? Well, B.A., it's definitely not the offense, especially with the healthy Zion. If they can find a way to have greater consistency on the defensive end, and they can take a big step as a franchise. Ingram against Maxi. Now here's Ingram. Defense right on him. Count the basket. Ingram's got nine. I like the attack mindset. Ingram not content to stand out on the perimeter. Pass to Embiid. Thibel against Jones. Now here's Embiid. The shot, no good. Nice D from Valanciunas. This isn't how they wanted to start the second half. Only one of four. McCullum against Maxi, And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And C.J. McCollum getting more on-ball action after his move away from Portland Grant. And McCollum has shown that's where he's best. Great at breaking down defenders and setting up others. He looks very natural as the primary playmaker. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for McCollum. And B.A., when you think of C.J. McCollum, not only a superb score, but an intelligent and clever passer, too. Smitty McCollum has continued to add to his game over the years. And what I like about it, we've seen the playmaking improve because he's one of the best combo guards we have in this game. An unpredictable player who just torches the defense. The defense really fell apart there. You can't afford to leave him all alone at the yard. New Orleans in the lead. Now here's McCollum. Six points for him. Outside Ingram. And it's Harris with the rebound. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end. Yet they continue to lead. Tyrese Maxey gets the whistle that time. That's his fourth foul of the contest. A great job to establish position and square up. And the 76ers making a change here. Melton's checked in.
Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. McCullum, the pass to Williamson. Pass to Ingram. That's tipped. And here's Harden, covered by Ingram. Harden against Ingram. Harden, the pass to Melton. Three-pointer, no good. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Brian Sixers head coach Doc Rivers earned the nickname Doc back in college for wearing a T-shirt with Julius Irving on it. In the NBA, he said, quote, the first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, um, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a million bucks. Guys? <laughs> All right, thanks, Sally. And the call will be against James Harden. James That'll be a second foul That's of the game. Second personal foul. Second team foul. The Pelicans have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. McCullum pass to Williamson. Oh, stolen by Harris. Outside Dybul. Pass to Harden. Williamson against Thibel. Harris outside. Just five on the clock. Screen by Embiid. It's good from the top of the key. The evolution of Harris as a shot maker. Known as a gym rat who works hard on his game. McCullum against Harden. McCullum pass to Williamson. Out to McCullum. Trying to get back on track. Again, no good by New Orleans. Ugly start to this half. Hitting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. Harden, the pass to Harris. Here's Embiid. Second chance effort. And it's good on the lay-in. Embiid's got four points in the quarter. We all know rebounding is about effort. Embiid is showing lots of it. I love how he's unwilling to give up on the play. Here's McCullum. Six points for him. Colin Judas sets the screen. And McCullum, good for three. McCullum's got nine. He's taking what he can get here as a three in each half. Pass to Harris. Indeed, the screen on Williamson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. With a nice combination of strength and elusiveness, Harris makes things difficult for the defenders inside. For your Sixers, Tobias Harris. Two shots. The free throw drops for Harris. Slowly but surely, Harris continues to elevate his game the shooting the playmaking the ability to make a difference Hayes is checked in for New Orleans and that's good as he hits both shots making shots at the line you need a good routine and he certainly has one pass to Williamson oh they get a hand on it Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Harris. B.A., it could be tough for a young guy to figure out his game. But Jackson Hayes is making big strides and showing impressive growth. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. down the first one. Well, Smitty Hayes definitely seems eager to make a larger impact on the floor. You know what I like, B.A.? His raw energy. Any chance he gets to show off what he can do, he takes it. It's hard to find that kind of relentless hustle. He 
He makes one or two that time. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. And Embiid throws it down. You know Embiid loves to produce like this, and you can tell it's firing up the team as well. Harden against McCullum. Kicks it out to Williamson. On the wing, Jones. Picked by Williamson. Jones misses. Philadelphia has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Harris passes to Embiid. It's deflected. Williamson with it. Ten points for him. McCullum outside. Shoots over Harden. Shots good by McCollum. McCollum's got 11. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Melton outside. Harden with a screen on Ingram. Here's Melton. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got five. Terrific design and execution. Leading to an opportunity right at the rim. McCollum against Harden. Dipped away. Dimer with a steal. From 11 feet away, it's Hayes with the rebound. Hayes has got five rebounds in the game. Ingram, the pass to Williamson. And Embiid with the block. We see it time and time again. Embiid relishes his role as an intimidator. shot on the way. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. No coverage that time. McCollum's got 11 points in the quarter. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. And Philadelphia calls time here. Changes here for the 76ers. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Tucker comes in for Harris. And Milton subbed in for Harden. And a new group getting ready for the Pelicans. Nance, he's checked in for Zion Williamson. Murphy comes in for Jones. Graham's checked in for Ingram. And Alvarado's subbed in for C.J. McCollum. He's putting up about seven and a half per game. And the basket is good. He got it to go and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity in a three-point play. Devontae Graham. It's easy to see what a strong on the ball defender DeAnthony Melton is. Tremendous instincts, quick hands, and a ton of energy. DeAnthony Melton. 
One shot. And that one misses. The steal numbers for Melton are always strong. Surprising how many blocks he gets, though, Smith. B.A., his block rate is much better than other guys who stand 6'2". Combine that with his steals, and you can see why players dread having D'Anthony Melton guard him. Here's Alvarado. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Graham for three. And Tucker pulls it down. The 76ers have gone 50% from the field in the third quarter. 8 of 16. Milton passes to Melton. On the way, Milton. Tucker with a screen on Hayes. Here's Milton. Oh, that doesn't go on the chance to tie. New Orleans has got two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Hayes with a screen on Milton. Out to the right wing. Dance the pass to Graham. Into the lane. Out to the wing. Just four to shoot. Dance for three. The shot no good. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Melton outside. Pass to Milton. Over Graham. And he hits it to tie the game. Milton's got his first points of the night. You can really see their confidence growing as this game has gone on. They have reason to believe that. Yeah, the reason is they tied it up. But it took a lot of focus and a lot of energy. We'll see if they can sustain this effort. Here's Murphy. Following the score by Philadelphia. Vance finds Graham. Off target with the three. Philadelphia has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Outside Kyle. Two minutes remaining. Gets to Harold. Here's Alvarado. Covered by Milton. Melton against Graham. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That one on Melton. Fearless play by Graham. Going up for his shot while absorbing the hit. Devontae Graham taking two shots. Shoot two. The first one falls for him. Maxi, he's checked in for Melton. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for the Pelicans. So he hits both of them. The Sixers trailing. Outside Maxi. Gets the bucket and the foul. That's on Devontae Graham. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No room protection whatsoever. McCollum, he's checked in for Graham. Personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Sixers, Tyrese Maxey. At the line for one. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. New Orleans has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Hayes with a screen on Maxi. McCullum pass to Hayes. And finished off by Hayes. Putting the fundamentals to work. The pick and roll helps CJ make room for other guys. Pass to Harold. Now here's Milton. He's guarded closely. Comes up empty from the left block. Well, New Orleans shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. To the middle. Here's 
Valanciunas nails the baby hook. Valanciunas. Now it's a three-point Pelican lead. Valanciunas getting rewarded there for putting down a solid screen on the pick and roll. Outside Milton. Pass to Maxi. Harold, a screen on McCullum. Here's Maxi. Here's Harold. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Crazy intensity of Montrez Harold. Using it to perfection in order to get calls. At the line for your Sixers. Montrez Harold. Taking two shots. And he drops the first. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. Harold hits them both. Every coach would appreciate having Montrez Harrell on their roster. Plays unselfish, does the dirty work, and gives his team an edge. Now here's McCollum. He's got 14. Shoots over Maxi. And the Pelicans get another bucket right there. Rock solid screed right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Maxi against McCullum. Now Maxi. Harold, a screen on McCullum. For three, Maxi. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. CJ McCullum has been leading the charge for the Pelicans. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points, leading the charge. We'll be right back with you shortly. a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. The 76ers shooting around 35% from the field so far. So the Pelicans five right now. Jonas Valanciunas out there with Larry Nance. Then it's Brandon Ingram. Then there's C.J. McCollum. And it's Alvarado in at the one. Now here's Maxi. All alone. And that one's long. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait. But you can't blame him. Nance, the pass to McCollum. Nance, the screen. Shoots from 12. McCollum's shot is off. Now Philadelphia with it. It's a three-point game. Pass to Harden. Here's Tucker. Outside Maxi. Six on the shot clock. To tie it up. That one doesn't drop. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Back to McCollum. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Valanciunas. McCollum, pass to Valanciunas. Oh, stolen by Embiid. Outside Harden. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth. Embiid passes to Harris. It's good. You can't discount Embiid's value as a passer and vision and court awareness. These are traits a team loves to have in a big man. Now here's Valanciunas. Valanciunas with a screen on Harris. Ingram, the pass to Valanciunas. The one thing you know you'll always get with Valanciunas, he's going to rebound. Offense, defense, no matter what, he's attacking the glass. 
shooting for New Orleans, Jonas Valanciunas at the line for two. Shoot two. The first one falls. I love the toughness from Jonas Valanciunas. And he is lighting it up tonight. Melton, he's checked in for the Sixers. Williamson's checked in for New Orleans. Jones comes in for McCullum. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. The 76ers have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to Harris. Indeed with it. Valanciunas covering. Here's Melton. To tie it up. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Williamson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And with his size and reach, Valanciunas is a monster on the boards, Grant. That is true. I mean, impossible to move in the paint. He gets a wide base and Williamson. just vacuums missed shots. And his great touch Daniel allows him to rack up second chance points as well. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Ingram against Maxey. A clear look for Embiid. Unable to get that one. Now New Orleans takes it the other way. They'll be playing host to Houston for their next game. And that's the first of just two home games for them. Now here's Melton. Pass to Maxi. Now here's Harris. Here's Embiid. Valanciunas covering. Embiid passes to Harris. Williamson with it. Now Ingram. Maxi covering. Here's Alvarado. To the inside. Tipped. Ingram. The pass to Williamson. Oh, and he got the foul on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Back in 2021, Zion Williamson was on a serious hot streak. In 25 consecutive games, he dropped 25 or more points and did it on 50% shooting. Well, Zion, when he's on the floor, he has proven he is an efficient player. Others are envious of that. They are, B.A. They're envious of his shot selection and his point total. He stays aggressive because he knows what his team needs from him. Physical play inside the paint all night long. The first free throw is good. A healthy Zion is a force to be reckoned with. from the strike and few players are as electric as Zion the speed and power he plays with something you see once every few decades Hart pass to Maxi. Embiid inside Valanciunas on him New Orleans out of bounds ball. New Orleans will have it a little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter and the blend of speed and power, as you said, Grant, Zion is unmatched. He's a rhino with a jetpack. And on defense, when you see him coming in the open floor, you don't want to get in his way. The explosiveness in the paint is really what makes him so efficient. So it's Philadelphia now, after the Pelicans picking up a basket a moment ago. And here's Harden. The Pelicans have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Ingram. Embiid against Valanciunas. Here's Williamson. And another basket for New Orleans. Zion just overwhelms the competition. Unstoppable here. 
Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. Only a few guys in the league are going to give you more double-doubles than Jonas Valanciunas. And as his career goes on, he only gets more of them. And that was a big round of applause for your Sixers, you, Dan P. out there he's just simply putting the offense on his back and delivering well after losing a couple in a row it's always great to see someone like him up the ante like this he was the main reason why they got this victory gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce well over the break I listened in on Doc Rivers huddle he did everything he could to fire the team up saying quote I don't care how far down we are we can do this attack and take what's ours Let's go out there and show them it's not over. Allie, thank you. Now Harden. Here's Embiid. Harris outside. To stop the drought. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his second. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. He can be such a physical force. It's so hard to keep him deep from getting to the free throw line. At the line for two. Free throw drops for Embiid. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid, the first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. Both shots good from the strike. And Joel Embiid, last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982, Grant. Oh, B.A., talk about historic company. And how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half, nothing in the second. Williamson finds Ingram. Williamson with a screen on belt. 13 feet out. And that one's good. Ingram showing some nice handles in the pick and roll. Ingram's creativity is fun to watch in these sets. Melton against Ingram. Melton misses. And it's New Orleans ball. It's a 12-2 run here. Good pace. Pass to Valanciunas. Outside Ingram. Valanciunas with a screen on Harris. The shot by Ingram, no good. Philadelphia's gone 0 for 3 here on the fourth. Down low. Here's Maxi. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. This 
is where Tobias has really improved, keeping his eyes up, making plays for others. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Now here's Ingram. From 11 feet away, that's bucket number five. He's five for 12 now. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused, and they've executed. Here's Embiid. Back to Maxi for three. Williams grabs the board. Williamson's got rebound number 11. Pass to Alvarado. Valanchunas with it. Valanchunas with a screen on Harris. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. And another one Valanchunas. falls for New Orleans. Assisted by Valanchunas had his hands up and ready on that catch and shoot. He wanted it. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Embiid from outside. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. 17 points was their biggest margin. Pass to Alvarado. Williamson against Melton. Jones from outside. And the Pelicans get it back. Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. Gotta love the big man Valanchunas fighting for that extra chance. And he was rewarded for his effort. Melton outside. Up top, Harden. Looking to get back on track. Rebounded by Ingram. Ingram's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Pass to Alvarado. Back to Ingram. Now here's Valanchunas. Just five to shoot. Here's Jones with the drive. And then Bede with the block. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession here. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Oh, now that was a block. So much needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. And the 76ers making a change here. Dibbles checked in. And a change for the Pelicans. McCollum's checked in. And they forced the shot clock violation. Great D. Boy, viewership numbers are on the rise. NBA business is booming. I guess it's a good time to own a piece, eh, Grant? Hey, B.A., you said it best. The league is in great shape. We have great leadership, talent. It's an exciting time, and I think the league has more growth globally in the years to come. Offensive rebound. Embiid gets the bucket. Embiid's got 12 points here in the second half. I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to be the guy who has to guard Embiid. I mean, you can body him up, get physical with him, and he still finds a way to score. Now here's McCollum. Back to Valanchunas. Pass to Williamson. And it's blocked by Embiid. Harris against Williamson. Harris passes to Harden. Back to Harris. From deep, Melton. Not going to go that time. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. And here's McCollum. Now here's Williamson. Pass to Ingram. And there's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's foul number two for him. Tyrese Maxey's checked in for Melton. Now into the lineup for your 76er. off the inbound. McCollum's shot is off. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Harden from outside. Rebounded by New Orleans. I'm open right here. Williamson outside. Hey, set it up. Pass to Jones. Now here's McCollum. Pounded by Harris. McCullum against Harris. Lock at four. Here's Ingram. 
It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got his 16th rebound on the night. Two minutes remaining in the game. Outside Hartman. And a miss there on the triple. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. And this rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. And again, New Orleans, no good. Philadelphia shooting at 32% from the floor. Not good. Harris passes to Harden. Embiid inside. Covered by Williamson. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter. Outside Jones. Out to the right wing. Here's Valanciunas. No good. And they can't put it into the drought. The 76ers running out of time. If they had an advantage tonight, came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Pelicans. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. Looking at this year so far, this will make 22 wins for them. And they fought hard for this win, guys. No one wants to get swept in the season series, even a short one. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for Zion Williamson. And how many times throughout the course of the evening did he make a momentum-changing play? I thought his relentlessness really keyed their success. Here's Maxi. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Left side, Harden. From behind the arc, gets the three to fall. And that's just precision personified from Harden beyond the mark. I mean, he looks so comfortable shooting from out there. Jones with the ball. takes this one by a large margin exceptional effort on the road they were ready and they were focused focused indeed i mean it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions these guys stepped up 100 percent well now a minute to check in with ali laforce she's courtside hey ali zion this is a team with some outstanding young players with complementary skills how do you see yourself fitting in I think I fit in very well. Uh, I think I'm a very versatile player. So you can throw me out there with any group, and I'm going to put up, do something to contribute. Um, and I think we're a very unselfish team, so that plays a big part to it. And any group would be happy to have you. Thanks, Zion. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.